Today I'm going to show you how to use AI to save loads of time watching YouTube videos and podcasts. With the help of these tools, you'll be able to quickly find out what that two hour podcast is all about before you decide to watch the whole thing. Make sure you stick around to the end to see my exact ChatGPT workflow and custom prompts. Let's get started. The first tool we're going to have a look at here is called summarize.tech. They create AI powered video summaries of YouTube videos. So this is especially good for long YouTube videos like podcasts, interviews, documentaries, lectures, even movies. It is powered by ChatGPT. So they've implemented the latest uh, GPT 3.5 Turbo language model. The results come back really quickly and I suspect that's because a lot of these videos have already been searched and are then stored in the database. So even if you are summarizing a new video that is long, I have tried videos up to around three hours long, that'll take about five to six seconds to return. So there is a bit of a wait time, but it's still pretty quick. Summaries are broken down into chunks of an hour. So let's take a video here and this one is 57 minutes long. Search for the video and it comes back with a chunk of an hour. A summary for that chunk and then when you click see more, you can see that it is further chunked down into sections of five minutes each. And there is a timestamp for each five, five minute segment. And when you click on that, it links you through to the video on that at that time step so that's quite handy on the home page you can also see a list of recently summarized videos if you're the curious type and you want to see what other people have been searching for or maybe just use it as a way to find new and interesting content there is a free version so it's 100 percent free to use but you are limited to a few videos per day the limit isn't exactly clear there is a paid version that has no daily limits and allows you to summarize up to 500 videos a month and that costs only $10 a month. So what are the pros and cons of this tool? The pros are it's web-based and it's fast. So the speed is definitely a, a, a bonus. And the fact that it's web-based means that you can use it on your phone via browser. And some of the plugins we will discuss later will only work on your desktop computer. And of course, there's no ChatGPT account required here. So as long as you're using the free version, they're covering the cost of that API call to return the result. The cons are that it doesn't work if there is no transcript on a YouTube video. So it doesn't download the video and then create the transcript. And of course, the free plan is rate limited. So as I said, yeah, you're probably going to get away with five to 10 videos per day before you hit that limit. The next tool we're going to have a look at is called Feather AI. You can find it at featherai.co. This tool will help you turn any YouTube video or MP3 audio file into a summary. Feather is different because it transcribes the audio into text and then creates the summary. So this is a slightly more expensive process as opposed to just downloading the YouTube transcript. They actually transcribe the audio into text and then create the summary from there. So summaries are sent to your inbox, which is also quite nice because they get saved there so you can reference them later. Format of the summary that you get in your inbox looks a bit like this. Uh, you've got the title at the top, and then the video length, estimated reading time, bottom line up front, as well as key points with um, bullet points and then a short paragraph for each section. There is a free version which includes 120 minutes per month. And if you want to go paid to increase the number of minutes per month, that goes up to 1399. What are the pros and cons of this tool? Pros are it works on YouTube videos that do not have a transcript. So that their app transcribes the audio for you. You get a well formatted summary sent by email. There is also a web based Chrome extension as well as a notion integration coming soon. So the cons are it is a bit slower due to the audio transcription. So it can take five to 10 minutes for that summary to reach your inbox. And of course, it is more expensive than summarize.tech due to the limits of 123 minutes a month. The next tool we're going to have a look at is called Glasp. You can find it at glasp.co. This is a pretty cool browser extension that works on several different browsers like Chrome, Brave, Edge or Safari. It allows you to add highlights and take notes directly on any website. And then those notes are automatically saved to your Glasp homepage. So that means there's no back and forth between the web and your note taking app. And it also integrates with tools like Obsidian, Notion and Roam. But the tool that we're going to be looking at today is called YouTube Summary with ChatGPT. The main Chrome extension that is linked from their homepage is actually a two-part extension, it includes the web highlighting feature as well as the YouTube summary. But there is also a version which is just for the YouTube summary. So once you've got that installed, you can go to any YouTube video and you'll see this little box pop up next to the video. So there's a cog icon here. If you click that, you'll get through to a settings page 
where you can change the theme, the copy format, the language, and also customize the prompt. The default prompt it has here is just summarize the following. So we'll start by testing that out first. So you go back to your YouTube video, you expand this box, it gives you, shows you the transcript. You can copy the transcript if you click the copy transcript button. And then there's a chat GPT button here. So you can click that, it pops up a new window and then sends it off to chat GPT to be transcribed. Okay, chat GPT has completed the transcription. As you'll see, the transcription is fairly short. So we might want to update our prompt so that we get a slightly more comprehensive summary back. So we can go back to the YouTube video, close this window, click on the cog, and then copy our prompt. I've got a prompt here that says, summarize the text and use bullet points for all key takeaways. Include detailed explanations and examples for each takeaway, and then the text that follows. So we go back to the video, we're just going to refresh this page to make sure that our prompt is loaded, expand the transcript window and then click on the chat GPT button again. Okay, now you'll see that it comes back with key takeaways as a list of bullet points, definitely more detail this time around, and then a couple of explanations and examples to back up those bullet points. All right, so that, that's pretty comprehensive. Cool, so that is the summarization feature. So what are the pros and cons of this browser extension? So the first pro is obviously that it's 100% free and the tool includes web highlighting and note taking if you choose to install that version of the Chrome extension. And you can also change the prompts to get your desired result. What are the cons of this browser extension? The first is that ChatGPT is required. Although you can use a free ChatGPT account, that does get rate limited from time to time depending on how busy they are. The next con is that the browser extension does not show in a mobile browser, at least uh, when I tested it. So that's something you should check out for yourself. And then also the transcript gets cut off when sent to ChatGPT. So if you look here, this sentence is cut off. If you search for it in the transcript, Control F to find that. You'll see it goes up to about a minute 14 and there is still some text after that. So I would say the transcript to be safe is cut off after about an hour. So the best way to summarize a transcript that is longer is to chunk that transcript text into sections and then summarize those sections if you want the full summary. The next tool we're gonna have a look at is this online video transcript generator it basically takes a youtube video url you can paste it into the search box here and then just click on transcript and it'll extract text from the video and there we go that's the full transcript all these sentences are clickable which will take you through to that part of the video this is especially useful if you're on mobile and you want to grab the transcript and summarize the transcript using ChatGPT on mobile. The next tool we're gonna to look at is called ChatGPT Splitter. This tool splits your transcript into chunks for processing by ChatGPT. So if you have a transcript that's longer than an hour, this tool becomes very useful. So ChatGPT processes up to about 3000 words per request and that is roughly about 12,000 characters. Well, 12,000 characters is between, let's say, two and 3,000 words. So when I'm chunking down a large transcript, I normally input a chunk size of about 12,000 here. So I'm gonna go and grab a long transcript. This one is three and a half hours long, and then we can paste it into this box here. I normally just clear the default prompt box and then click on process. So what will happen now, it'll load up all of the chunks below and then you can just click copy on each one so this one's got 14 chunks that's quite a lot but you can copy them one at a time so let's just copy this first one and then we go into chat gpt open up a new window paste the chunk and then it'll say okay chunk one of 14 so the prompt just instructs it to confirm that it has received the chunk and then what you can do is copy your prompt so i've got a slightly modified prompt here which refers to the chunk so chunk one of 14 and then you just click go and now it's going to summarize that chunk for you all right so that is how you chunk down a large video and then create summaries of each chunk and you can obviously throw those summaries together and then create one final summary from all the chunked summaries the last tool we're going to have a look at is called snips.com 
This is a mobile app for podcasts. They've got an Apple and an Android app. Basically, this tool allows you to create short snips of audio clips from your favorite podcasts, and then it creates an AI-generated summary of those snips. You can also listen to the best highlights from podcasts, and you can listen to the full episode and save your favorite moments to your library. You can share your highlights with friends, and you can also export your saved highlights to Notion, Readwise, Obsidian, and more. Another cool snip feature is that you can save any clip to your phone by using the skip back button on your headphones, or you can triple tap on your AirPods. So Snip is a pretty cool tool, even though it's not directly re related to YouTube videos. It is a snipping and summarization tool for podcasts, plus it is 100% free to use. As you can see, these AI summarization tools are very powerful and can help you save loads of time. Let me know in the comments if you use any other AI tools to help you save time watching videos and podcasts. In my next video, I'll be doing a deep dive into summarization prompts and how you can get the most out of ChatGPT to take notes. See you in the next one.